a new Janet Carney last updated 1536, September 25, 2017 New Zealand Honey is a hit in China this time of year, New Zealand Honey Company Chief Executive Jeremy Van de Klundert says. Kiwi-made products are set to take centristage in hundreds of Chinese supermarkets. Cook's Global Foods CGF and its Chinese supermarket partner Jiajiaiu are launching a 12-week promotion across its 630 supermarkets in China's Shandong province. The promotion kicks off this weekend in time for National Day, China's busiest retail period, giving businesses the chance to reach at least 30 million consumers. Gareth Hughes, general manager of Moa Beer, says the promotion is a progressive approach to marketing the best of New Zealand. CGF chairman Keith Jackson said the collaboration with New Zealand Trade and Enterprise hoped to raise the profile of New Zealand produce. Read more experts says Kiwi firms should target China's regions AFCO's first shipment of chilled beef arrives in China Auckland Eatery teams up with a Kiwi culinary incubator in China Food safety is a real concern for Chinese customers so we really want to promote the perception of pure and healthy food and make that our point of difference from other premium products, Jackson said. The flagship promotion will take place in Jiajiaiu's Dragon Mall Shopping Center in Weihai City, where the company is headquartered. A Hong Kong-based Maori Kapahaka group will perform at the event and demonstrations by Chinese celebrity chefs will be aired on local television channels. About 300 of Jiajiaiu's larger stores will have central merchandising stands on the main aisles to showcase New Zealand products. The other supermarkets will display New Zealand produce together on decorated shelves and offer food and wine tastings. New Zealand craft beer company Moa has been exporting to Shandong for five years and will be one of the brands highlighted in the supermarkets. Moa general manager Gareth Hughes said the branding exercise was a progressive approach at showcasing the best of what New Zealand had to offer. He said more Kiwi businesses should look beyond the tire in cities, Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen and go to the second and third year cities to beat international competition, but still market to a dense population. Jackson said the Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities, such as Weihai, had large millennial markets who wanted premium products. New Zealand Honey Company's chief executive Jeremy Van de Klundert said it was the time of year to promote New Zealand honey. There's a greater demand for honey in winter as a remedy for cold and flu. Chinese consumers also rely highly on traditional and natural medicines, Van de Klundert said. The promotion is expected to become a regular event to build New Zealand businesses' confidence to market in China. Stuff.